Yes, yes, go, go, go. Entering this week, uh, we had just come off, you know, lost to Chengdu, lost to Vancouver. Uh, it was an 0-2 week for us. You know, the, the Vancouver match, I think, didn't really sting too much as a loss. We definitely felt like we could have done better against them. Um, but the Chengdu match was one that we felt like we should have won. Um, and so we were definitely pretty disappointed. Um, but we were trying to keep our heads high, trying to stay focused on the next set of matches. You know, we were feeling okay. We still were just, just trying to push forward and, and, and trying to work on ourselves and just trying to, you know, clean up our own play. So this week was one we decided um, we were gonna play Trill. It was something that we had been talking about for a while while Trill was getting his visa and stuff. It's the whole reason we signed him was so that we could have two main tanks. After talking with OG, we wanted to give OG a little bit of a break. I know that um, a lot of the pressure of the stage and how the team was going was kind of getting to him. Um, so we wanted to give him a chance to, to get some time off, but it also gave us a chance to try a new dynamic with Trill. His first ever scrim with us was against the San Francisco Shock, so it definitely was a, uh, a nice eye-opener when we were practicing our goats for the difference between, you know, contenders and, and Overwatch League. When I got told I was starting this weekend, I was obviously, like, super excited because I just want to play on the stage, and that's literally what I want to do. I want to be a starter, and um, so I was super excited going into it. So practicing uh, with the team here was a lot different to how it was in Envy. I had to, like, change my play style a lot and just, like, had to... Like get used to everyone's voices and the calls and like how we played. So like I feel like I have to play a lot differently or like do stuff differently, but I feel like we are definitely making improvements. After the first two scrims with the trail, I think things definitely started clicking. Our scrims were going actually really well. Uh, we were really happy with how things were going. Trail effectively had, you know, four or five days of practice with the team and then kind of going right into a match. So something that most players don't have to deal with, but I think Trill is handling it pretty well. He's a very positive person. So I think that definitely helps us a lot. And going into this week, even though we had some pretty good scrim results uh, with Trill, we were still kind of, uh, we still felt pretty good about Spark, but you know, maybe we weren't feeling like hundred percent like we were in stage two, um, but you know, it's, it's what you have to deal with in a professional sport and you know, we were just gonna buckle down and keep going. We just wanted to go in and have a good showing. At this point, you know, I'm, I'm trying to set, you know, expectations for everyone that the only expectation is that we do our best. And if our best isn't good enough, then we go in, we fix it and make it better. And so, you know, going in versus Spark, we felt like, you know, we could do this. All right, listen, listen up guys. No pressure on us today. All right, our past few days have been have been fucking killer. All right, so believe in ourselves, believe in each other, and we're gonna do great, okay? So today, in honor of Trill's first time, I'm gonna go Aussie, 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 <laughs> and everyone else is gonna go oi, 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 okay? Yeah. All right, here we go. No. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! And we'll see what Dallas has for us today. One surprise, maybe, is that Trill will be starting as main tank, OG. On the bench for this one. Still trying to take this one. They're gonna go ahead and get caught in the ground. Soundbear comes in and Kushway down. So Dallas replying with a kill on the Godsby. They should be able to get their own percent going pretty fast. d -backed. And what a play by the supports on the Spark. No double jump for Zenyatta. And no more time for the Dallas Fuel. As it looks like they're gonna need to give this one up. No, nope, not finding any kills with that self-destruct. And that'll be it. Hongzhou Spark with the 2-0. All right, hey, listen, shake it off, guys, okay? Listen, don't be afraid to make plays. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Like, don't be afraid. We know they're Lucio's aggressive. Don't be afraid of it, all right? Don't give them that respect. We need to make, make our plays, okay? So that's our warm-up round. We shake it off. Deep breath, we fucking got this, all right? They got pooped away too, gave Dallas even more time on there. Now Rhea gets hacked as he tries to engage with that Wrecking Ball, baby down as well. Another EMP from AKM and they got it. Nice, wow, they sure. did it. Good job, guys. And Kushway going down, they found that window right before Bebe had his Zenyatta ultimate up to strike and it is working out. The question, though, yeah. is yeah. what yeah. value yeah. do they get? Kushway rather with that shatter and he's gonna come in with a kill on the note and the grab from Dallas catches nobody. Luckily for them, they got the kills to close it out, but whoo, that was a close call at the end there, Dallas. Getting away with one a little bit at the end of that round. And Spark, they just can't seem to close here. I don't think they're going to. No ultimates left. The Dragon Strikes have not been there well, they're for doing Godsby. It. And it looks wow. like Dallas is going to draw. They got the supercharge, they've got the damage, and they've got the draw. 
I can't believe they pulled good it job, off. Good, good job. Steel, staying alive in this series. That's right. Good. 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 Drill popped off. So going at halftime, we were 1-0. We actually were feeling really good at halftime. And as long as we didn't get too pressured by their style, by Spark's style, that we could actually win this match. And I think that this one making that was so good. So, so good. For, for the first time, and we didn't even know the comp. You did everything perfect. Like on a personal level, that was perfect. This is very rare to, say, to see that. Okay. So, are we fine? Stay cool? That point means that we, we can do this, okay? So be confident, let's go throwing everything they can at the spark to try to get that payload moving. It looks like they're going to be able to finally do it. So, yeah, Dallas much more ready for that one. Had to dedicate a lot, but hey, it's a win. A win is a win, right? Yeah. Spark not having a whole lot of trouble treating this fight. Kushway a little bit low, but the damage is not there. No, taken away as well. And that is the end of the map. And it is the result of the match decided. Yeah, this area is just way too strong. Good try, guys. pretty close to like making it a, a really competitive series. And we knew that we had the tools to do it, but for some reason we couldn't quite execute it together on stage. Um, so they ended up taking the series 3-0. Um, we were happy with the draw, but we definitely felt like that was a series we could have won. Um, and, you know, go, losing that one, I think was one that definitely meant a lot of frustration for the players. I know the loss sucks, but um, but regardless of what we practice uh, for Spark, we're in full Chengdu mode now, okay? Um, there is still uh, a world where we can make Sage playoffs, um, so we're still gonna take every single map seriously. Like I always say, our goal is season playoffs, okay? You know, even though we lost this one, still still focused on, on the end goal, okay? So don't be too down. We have a day off tomorrow, so take it, rest, and be ready for a grind the next day, okay? We're here for the long haul. So make sure we take care of ourselves and, and, you know, rest tonight, rest tomorrow, and be ready to go the next day, okay? All right, GG's today, guys. I think Trill's mentality is really good. In the match, I think he helped a lot, and I think he did pretty well. Um, I, th I think he kind of underperformed his own expectations of how he felt like he should do. Well, obviously, I was uh, super happy to play on the stage for my first game, and um... For me personally, my debut, I felt like you know, I underperformed really badly, so um, I was honestly pretty upset. I think I overthinked a lot when I really shouldn't have, but I think I just need to get more comfortable and just like do my own thing, my own playstyle, and know what I can do and just be confident in my playstyle. I feel like uh, I think I got a bit in my head a bit for me to perform, and I think I just played not as well as I could have, but what can you do? So to come back and improve from that and look over and see what I can work on. And it just really made me more, more, like, more hungry to just try and prove. Um, his mentality and his positivity was really good for the team. And I was really happy um, with that. You know, I think that for a first time on stage, to be thrown in, you know, in that situation, I think he did really well. So the day before the match, Uncle mentioned that his eye was kind of bugging him. Um, and Uncle has, has a very uh, specific lens for his eye. He has some, some stuff going on there. Turns out the lens wasn't effectively doing its job and he needed to get a new one. Um, well, he can't get a new one right away because it's, it's a special one that has to be ordered. It's part of the reason why we have substitute players and Harry's a great one. Um, you know, he's a fantastic player that can play many roles, many options, um, and so he, he filled in for Unko. Obviously for me, I think it was kind of random because I, I never play, I never play screen time. Aero told me like, uh, I probably most likely have to play because Unko was having problems with his eyes, so Obviously, like, health is first, and um, I had to take my role. So we're trying to look at the positives of it. You know, even though Uncle couldn't play, um, you know, Harry has, you know, really good leadership, and he's very calm on stage. Um, so Harry hadn't played for a few weeks with the team um, in, in the actual scrim environment. He's always there, he's always watching, but he hadn't really played with them. And playtime with the team is very important for team cohesion. So we had half a day to try and get Harry uh, kind of up to speed. Breaking the shackles of oppression called goats. <laughs> and we're playing to our style. Hey. Zach is released from Brig Jail. Oh. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> For part of the match. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And in honor of our friendly Spanish men, where did he go? I know. We're gonna Gordo on three, all right? One, two, three. Gordo! Harry Hook El Guapo himself joins back into the roster. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. 
now. Jinmu also hunting for his next target. The dupe is very deadly, and Zachary doesn't fancy facing his fury. Notes forced off the point. He also gets hacked by Young Chao Long, and Diva struggles with Trill. You've been visited by the Smasher of Good Ops. He attacked immediately, and he goes down it yet again. With an overtime wing ticking down, and Elsa throwing a self destruct on the point. You can put this one in the books as a win for the Chongdu Hunters. The live, but Evil Tile actually went down with the Dragon Strike very late. Had to sleep an aim on, and he's in trouble now. Zachary with another one on the hunt, so that's four already for him. And AKM now is able to chime in once he returns. Watch how long it's not been given to Oh, too much room to move. But she's able to block herself. Oh, AKM again! I don't play ball, so. Again! Come on! Uh, they have to be using the Sonic Arrow. And Kyo takes him down. It's a 2 2 trade so far. The Weaver Tile has fallen. Amon throws up another shield. Drill rolls up onto the pointy, but Amon is flying around the shield. Don't get pressure. Don't get pressure. Closer. He's the only player set up on the point here in a 1v3, and that's just not a situation that you want to be in. He has to keep his team alive. He has to keep his overtime push alive. But the Dallas Fuel, such a great defense, and the Chengdu Hunters will take map two. But it's fine, Amon has been removed already by AKM, and there's no follow-up damage available. Dallas finally able to come up with a solution. Young Xiao Long gonna step on and stall the payload out for a little while, and puts him in overtime. That's not what the Fuel want at all. Now, yeah, Drill tries to contest, but he's too low, and that yes. just smacks of desperation. Zachary take him down now, and AKM won't get to the point. Dallas Fuel not with a Raw, but with a Whimper. We'll concede the third map in this series, and the Chengdu Hunters look incredibly good. Ending that match having gotten 4-0 uh, definitely felt pretty bad. It, it was a series that we definitely could have won. You know, we were trying out a new style. We were trying to focus on you know the sniper thing, and it went pretty well, but we couldn't quite fill the full strategy and complete it out and execute it. As usual, it, whenever we're, you know, we lose a match, we try to learn from it, we try to grow from it. Um, so we kind of take that data and we move on. So I know today was frustrating, um, given everything um, that happened this past week, uh, you know, with, you know, needing to, needing to bring Harry in at last minute and all that kind of stuff. Trust me when I say we'll get through this, okay? We'll get through this. Uh, it's a rough patch in the middle of the hardest part of our schedule. So we'll get through this, okay? At this point, we have one more match left in the stage. We have New York. Um, so we're out of playoff contention for the stage. Uh, so we're just gonna try to focus on doing well for New York. Map count does matter for the season playoffs, which is our goal. Um, so we're just gonna focus on that and then look to the next stage. So even though we're in a rough spot, even though um, it's the hard part of our schedule um, and all that's compounding together and it, it feels pretty tough and it definitely is, is impacting on everyone. And we feel like, you know, we can still have a shot at the season playoffs and feel like we can do pretty well. So uh, our heads are on the future and we're just gonna give it our all and keep going.